Well, hello everybody, and welcome back here to the game. I still do not know how to pronounce. Goetia? Yeah, it sounds about right. And welcome back here to the shrine of Abigail Blackwood and the ghost of Abigail Blackwood. Hello, everybody. I think let's take this with us. I can't see a user up here. And we're gonna go down this hole, so. Let's go see, shall we? Oh. Oh, where are we? Uh, hi. Do we have anything to see here? There's nothing to see here. Move along, move along. No, nothing above. What's this? I'm glad I don't have to use this infernal machine. It looks stuck anyway. Uh, what else do we have down here? Let's move on. Down into the deep depths of the earth. Well, they added a sound effect for that hitting the ground, so we were probably doing the right thing there. Alright. I have a few bits and pieces to look at here. Let's start with the bookshelf. Some registers and other account books from 1821 to 1914. And then nothing. Okay. What about this? Whoever is responsible for the decoration here either had very eclectic tastes or no taste at all. I think you might be right there, Abigail. An eclectic from a ten-year-old or an eight-year-old. Huh? Twelve, wasn't it? That's a big word for a little girl. A collection of poems by one W.B. Yeats. Okay. William Butler Yeats. I didn't know his middle name was Butler. Huh. The wild swans at cool. The cat and the moon. The cat went here and there, and the moon spun round like a top. And the nearest kin of the moon, the creeping cat looked up. Black Minoloki stared at the moon, for wonder and well as he would, the pure cold light in the sky troubled his animal blood. Minoloki runs in the grass, shifting his delicate feet. Do you dance, Minoloki? Do you dance? Do two close kindred meet? What better to call a dance? Maybe a moon may learn. Tired of courtly fashion, a new dance turn. Melushi creeps through the grass, from moon to place to place. The sacred moon overhead has taken a new phase. Does Minolushi know his pu that his pupils will pass from change to change, and that from round to crescent, from crescent to round they range? Melushi creeps through the grass, alone, important and wise, and lifts to the changing moon his changing eyes. The Saint and the Hunchback. Hunchback. Stand up and lift your head and bless a man that finds his great bitterness. In thinking of his lost renown, a Roman Caesar is held down under this hump. Saint. God tries each man according to a different plan. I shall not cease to bless because I lay about me with the tours that night and, and morning I may thrash. Greek Alexander from my flesh, Augustus Caesar, and after these, the great rogue, Archibaldes. Hunchback. To all that in your flesh have stood and blessed, I give my gratitude, honoured by all their degrees, but most to Archibaldes. This cat lost his head. I hope it's not my beautiful Seth. Yes, me too. All right. 
Now this is interesting. This looks like the runic alphabet. Okay. Right, we'll come back to that. That is going to be SFL. Now, now it's those been circled. Solar Fixum Celeste. Sulfur Fixum Celeste. Okay. Hmm. Right, we'll come back to that, I think. Well, I'm surprised that didn't give us a page in the journal. I didn't know Blackwood Manor had an archive room. It's a fascinating place, smaller than the Manor's library, but its depth and sheer amount of information it holds are most intimidating. That said, I have no leads, unless I missed something important. Maybe you did. Annie talks about someone called Anton and a forest in the eastern part of the estate. Was he living there as a recluse? I don't recall anything being there. No house, not even a hut. What is his connection to Annie? If she's left the manor, maybe she'll know where he'll know where she's hiding. I don't really know my way around the forest, but I must explore it. And what have we missed here? Oh, we actually haven't finished something here. Ah, oh, that's probably from the last episode, I should imagine. After all these disappointments, I was expecting something much more difficult. But hunting a demon is surprisingly easy. I just need to find and focus on the opposite sigil and then cross the wall to free it from the demon's grasp. Let's go upstairs and gather hints at what happened here to find Annie and learn what those bright altars at the basement of the manor are. Yes. Yes, back to black with the observatory. This is... Okay. I can't go any further. I can't control myself. I'm too scared. But Seth is here somewhere. I can feel it. Seth, please show yourself. Guide me. It's so cold. And death won't come. I really want to escape. And I have to go on. Why? Okay. Oh, incidentally. That's the button. We're 37% of the way through the game, so we're about a third through. <clears throat> what haven't we touched here? This, I think. something in here. Alright, that sounded like a door opening. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh, get more paperwork. I don't quite fancy exploring the financial history of the Blackwoods. Suitcase. Reminder. Mother, Edward, Father, Robert. M-E-F-R Hmm, okay Okay Anything extra here? No No, right, what's here? Oh I wonder what goes there. A concave shape. Some sort of receptacle. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I've just thought there is something else up here. Let's go and get it. Oh, what the hell? Eee. Hope it doesn't break. Nope, it didn't break. Excellent. Right, let's grab this then. Okay, and with that... There we go. recess in the alcove. Its oval shape makes me think that it wasn't created for storage, but rather to hide a mechanism, or some other form of access. Oh, can't get anything past you, can we? Okay. 
Okay. What have we here? I can't see anything. I'll do anything with it by the looks of it. No, okay. Okay, we can't see anything at all here. Right, they need to find some way of putting the lights on. Let's have a look further. I still can't see anything, okay. Perhaps there's a light switch here. Some cleaning products. Someone doesn't leave anything to chance. There's a pipe in the can. It's liquid, shiny, and slightly sticky. I can't smell it, but it looks like petrol. Okay. Hmm. Nothing here. Keep on going down. Okay, I think I I think I'm starting to work this one out. The needle is at the bottom. Some new and unknown machine. Maybe I can turn it on. I don't even know what it works. What could it be used for? Oh. I think that's the clue. Ooh, I can go that way. I can't see anything. Okay, we're going to take those in. Let's go and get some petrol, shall we? Good thing that light stayed on. This is like playing Fallout. Okay, where did I put that jug? It's here. Hey, little jug, come with me. So let's take this here. I'm willing to bet we can fill it with petrol. Here we go. A can and some petrol, and now a can full of petrol. Good. Indeed. Okay, leave that there for now. There should be enough fuel for a couple of hours. How quickly you become an expert, Helen. Helen, Abigail. How quickly you become an expert, Abigail. Alright, let's start with this one. Still can't see anything. Right, okay. I think, ah, here we go. Corridor, well, workshop, exit one. So, right, so. What can I do with this? Uh, do I need things to. That one won't come out. This one will come out. So, in the corridor like that, does that make a difference? Yes, it does. Okay, starting to understand. Let's do this one first. <laughs> oh, briefcase. Locked, naturally. Oh, new notes. Not exactly surprising. Okay, generator overhaul done. Fixing lights in the laboratory done. Take the supplies to the bunker. Lift overhaul done. Replace the fire in the crypts. The fire? Fuse. Replace the fuse in the crypts switchboard. Draw a plan of the bunker. Study plant sample as far away from the manor as possible. Notice that's a different handwriting. Chords. I 
have no idea what that word is. Small shovels, picks, a true archaeologist's arsenal. Measures. Nobody will be angry at me for borrowing them, I suppose. I came along to take a hold and they were all gone. Okay, so... One, five. I think I've got an idea for this. Okay, suitcase, reminder, Mother Edward, Father Robert. anything no not that is it something up here I don't want to dwell on this one too much we might just come back to this because I'm not thinking of the clue that this relates to just yet Thought. Dates of birth, order, oh, order of age. Alexander doesn't help us. Edward, I think, is the youngest. Robert was 14 in 1940 and Edward was 10 in 1940 let's assume let's have a guess here let's have a guess okay so if my guess is order of age I'm willing to bet the father is slightly older than mother. So, mother will be two, Edward will be four, father will be one, Robert will be three. Nope, nothing happened. Okay, we obviously need some more information for that, so let's actually that first of all. Extension one workshop. I think we want workshop. Okay. So let's go and have a look. Actually Did I go in here? I don't think I did. Rumble. Okay, let's go and have a look in here. A range of supplies. Not much else. Can I open it. I can't open it. Is there anything else? Oh, there is something of interest here. Hmm. What's this? I'm nothing if not curious, but this suitcase with a coded lock that is carefully left in a crate at the entrance of a secure shelter is very intriguing to say the least. I don't know where to find the code though. I should think about it while exploring underground. Okay. What? It's Ted. What are you doing here by yourself, poor thing? Or Ted. A new water waiting for me. It's giving me a rather oppressive feeling. 
Yes, I can say I blame you for that. A letter? The ceiling might be an interesting lead. Okay, yeah, we'll take a look at it in just a sec. This one's the same as the one at the panel upstairs. I mean, look. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so let's put you, let's put you in the workshop for now. There we go. All hell fuse boxes. Okay, we are nearly done. Some colored wires and a small broken down clock. It looks like electrical equipment. Where's the suitcase then? Oh, that was the one. Okay, that was the the other one. All right, what have we found here? The archives lead to a shelter. I'm not sure whether it was here when I was alive. It's being used by someone. I can see several ventilated supplies and food, but nothing else because the light is too dim. There must be a lighting system. I'm not sure if I can bring it under my control. I think I found the power source in the machine at the bottom of the ladder. If it's simple enough, maybe my childhood experiments will help. I hope the mechanism won't be too complex. Electricity takes a little logic to master. I should thank mother and father for fueling my natural curiosity. The modern age is no match for me now. Well then, let's explore this shelter. Okay. Right, so I think we'll leave it there. This seems to be a good time to stop. And so, until the next time I have been Simon Parsons, this has been Goethe. Thank you. And good night.